Hello, Tubies. I hope you're doing fantastically fabulous. And if you're not doing fantastically fabulous, then I'm sorry for you, but I can't help you. I hope tomorrow you'll be doing fantastically fabulous. You're going to hear a dishwasher in the background because I'm recording a bunch of videos today. And I don't really care if you hear a dishwasher in the background, okay? So I wanna talk about how to strengthen your protections. As somebody who doesn't really do a lot of protections because I'm not really afraid of what other people say or do, if you wanna throw nasty things my way, I've got ways of dealing with you, okay? But some of the things that I wanted to talk about is how to strengthen your protections and why it's important to have some form of protection. It's not about social media. It's not about other witches on the internet because there's a lot of talk, but there's no walk. There's a lot of people saying, I'm gonna curse you, I'm gonna hex you. They go on their TikToks and they're like, oh, I'm cursing your generation. This is a generational curse. I'm gonna burn your family, blah, blah, blah. You'll have no kids, you'll die, this, that, the other thing. But it's just a lot of talk. Some fancy candles and a lot of talk. I'm not saying that people don't curse each other, but I have a feeling that people who do curse each other tend not to make it so public. Right? Now, when it comes to your protections, what are you protecting yourself against? As I said in my warding video, you're mostly protecting yourself against negative energy. There's negative energy around us all the time, everywhere we go. Not just people, but just certain spaces, certain places, certain things, thoughts, certain attitudes, emotions, right? Sometimes we have shitty days and that manifests negative energy. Sometimes other people are having shitty days and it latches on to us, right? They may not talk to us or say anything to us, but we can feel it. At least the empathics can feel it. I can always tell when somebody's having a shitty day. Um, but when it comes to your protections, the biggest advice I can give you is to visualize, right? You need to visualize whatever it is that you're visualizing. So if you're the type that likes bubbles, then you'll visualize bubbles around you. Maybe you'll visualize bubbles made of metal with spikes on them and nothing can get in and nothing can hurt you. Maybe you'll visualize walls going up all around you, especially if you're the type of person like me who likes to throw up a lot of walls, right? You know, when somebody says, oh, you throw up walls, go let your walls down. That is a form of protection emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, right? You throw up walls. Sometimes you don't even know you're throwing up walls. You just throw up walls consciously. Maybe the way you were raised forced you to constantly have walls and be on your guard, right? We tend to um, not really think about these things. I don't really see a lot of witches talking about protections. I mean, some will talk about protections, but in a very broad form, they don't really deep dive into what a protection is. Um, I've had conversations with other witches where they talk about certain things they will visualize happening to the person who's trying to do magic to them. Right? And sending the energy back or capturing the energy and using it for something else. I like to capture the energy. I like it when people throw things at me because I'm just like, oh, free energy. I can use that. I can do whatever I want with it. It's mine now. You wasted your time. Especially if they send entities with them, right? They send entities and they're like, oh, I'm going to burn you. I'm going to curse you. I'm going to hex you. I'm going to send a demon after you. It's going to haunt you. And it's like... I can take your demon and I can do whatever else I want with it. I can send it back to you. You can send your servitors after me. That's nice. They're mine now. Right? So it's not just about the cursing and the hexing. That's the one thing that I see a lot of talking about is that people will talk about, oh, you need, you need protections if you're going to be on social media. There's witches out there looking to curse and hex you. And that is true to a large degree. People just don't like other people and just want to flex their power, quote unquote. I think people who are flexing their quote unquote power are people who want attention, 
right? You pay them no mind. You pay little attention to them. Again, that's easier said than done. Especially if they're constantly harassing you and berating you and making you feel like trash. That's a form of something you can protect against, the negative energy from that. And the easiest way to do that, it's not even really protecting against it, it's more of just taking that energy and transforming it into something positive, right? There are some protections that I will do that will literally do that. They'll send negative energy my way, whoever they are, and it'll go right through the barriers that I put up. But by the time it gets in here, it's like it, it was coming as knives and it gets into here and it turns into flower petals, right? Protect, protection magic is really about visualization. Having strong visualization skills helps build strong protection. The only thing I don't really like about protections is that you constantly have to be keeping them up all the time. Not every day, but every couple of weeks, maybe a month, right? They don't last long. They fade away over time. Um, some of the protections that I have around me are just the entities that I work with. They won't let things get too close. You know, if I'm talking with another witch, right, and their entity will show up, I've got protections around my place to keep entities out, but that doesn't always work. And so I have other entities that will deal with those entities and push them out or keep them at bay, right? Sometimes I like to visualize, as an example, the earth enveloping me and surrounding me and grounding me to the ground and the roots forming like a cage around me that nothing can get in and nothing can hurt me, right? These are just some simple, basic little things, but with some good visualization, you can strengthen them and make them stronger and turn your enemies against themselves, make them think that they're casting magic on you, make them feel like they're all powerful and then strip it all away, right? So I hope that this video has helped you understand a little bit more about protections. I mean, yeah, we did mostly talk about witches and curses and hexes, but again, right, protection's more than that. It's the energy from all around you, from your space, from the people that live in your space, from the people outside of your space, the people from work, right, protecting not just your house, not just yourself, not just your magical space, but your car, your animals, your friends and family and loved ones and protecting your land, right? We have different ways. Every witch has a different way of doing protection magics and every witch's protection magics are different. Some are stronger than others and some are weaker than others, right? And just because you don't have any protections doesn't necessarily mean that you need protections. Because if you know how to capture the energy that's coming from another witch, and you know how to take that energy and manipulate it. Remember, nothing can be created or destroyed, but everything can be manipulated and changed. So it's all about using your intentions and your thought processes and your spiritual path to do what you need to do in order to keep things that you don't want at bay. Okay? Until next time, my fabulous tubies.